Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, I'm over here at the storage at the, uh, the Honeycomb Hideout Bat Cave, uh, doing a little spring cleaning. Um, um, my, my storage was just getting really just too, it was, it was getting cluttered, you know, with just a bunch of stuff that didn't need to be over here. So um, I got the Monte Carlo pulled out because uh, I had I had to pull it out in order to get to the stuff that I need to pull out pull out the uh, out of the storage. Anyways. There she is in all her glory. Z01 Monte Carlo. She's uh still waiting to be waiting for her heart transplant. And I can't wait till I get this damn car on the road, man. It's killing me not to be able to drive it. But patience. Patience. You know what I mean? Gotta have patience. Gotta trust the process. Trust the process. If you guys are following the channel. You all, you all know that um, plans we have for this car uh, will be a uh, an, uh, supercharged LSA swap. Um, we'll be doing that here shortly. Cur currently in the process of just buying all my parts and just getting everything together, getting everything lined up so that when I when I take the car to the shop, it'll be a quick wham bam and done uh so i won't have to sit there waiting on parts and stuff like that so um big things in store big things in store uh anyways so yeah so cleaning the storage out a little bit uh you can see here um back here in the back towards the very back you probably noticed in some of my other videos this area back here in this corner, it had a ton of just junk back here. And that's what's, most of it is all on the truck right now. All, all this is going to the storage, to the other storage. So I gotta get all of this out of here. Then I'll be able to park my C10 over here again, uh, because I, I, I've been parking the C10 at the house because this space here, which is normally where the C10 goes, has been has been occupied by all this junk. So, um, so anyways, uh, now I can you know I, once I get this all cleared out, now I can uh, put pull the C10 in and all four uh, all four vehicles in the red and black collection will be uh, all in one place. So, um, there's the cut dog 442 Cuddy. It's been a while, but we will hit the streets again, I promise. Soon. We will hit the streets again soon. And then, of course, there's the Impala. 96 Impala. We'll, we'll call it the ZL1 Impala. Since that's what we're going with on the Monte Carlo, we'll call it the ZL, ZL1 Monte Carlo and the ZL1 Impala, and soon, soon to be ZL1 C10 coming soon. I got some, I got some big plans up my sleeve, uh, and I, I definitely, I, I, I want to let let y'all see it right now, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a keep it to myself for now. I, I said I wasn't gonna show it until uh, it was the right time, and so, but it's, I'm, I'm, I'm really itching to show y'all this rendering that I had made for the design concept for the C10. And when I tell you that rendering came out so dope, man, that, that rendering, y'all, I, I gotta tell y'all, man, I mean, it is crazy. I mean, it's crazy. Like, like it, it blew me away. Like, I, I came up with the design, right? But when I saw it come to life in the rendering, like, for the first time, it it blew me away. But that truck is gonna make a lot of noise. I mean, I I, I think just the, just the rendering along is gonna make a lot of noise. When, once I once I put the rendering out there, you know, that's gonna make a lot of noise. But the seeing the truck complete and finished, and it's you know just like the rendering, that that's gonna make a lot of noise. It's it's, it's un, I honestly feel like it's gonna be a game changer. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying it's gonna be the best build in the world. You know what I mean? But I think just because of the 
the custom pieces that I'm that I'm going to have done to it and all the little design cues and little, little little odds and ends and details that I decided to change up on mine uh, to kind of give it, um, you know, my own little personal signature. Um, I think I think it's just it's just going to be a truck that's going to really grab everyone's attention. You know what I mean? And I, you know, and I, and I, I got inspiration from a number of different bills that I've seen, you know, and, and I'm I'm never afraid to um, to uh, share if you know somebody inspired me on a build or uh, if i if i picked up something from another car that i saw that i really liked that i incorporated into my build you know, I, I believe in giving people their props if somebody gave me an idea i want to i want to give them credit for it so but anyways uh but yeah this 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 design concept this rendering i had done is really like a it's a culmination it's a culmination of a lot of different things i like basically i've had my c10 the same way it, is, it has been for the last uh it, 10, well, 11 years. I got it. I got it. I've had. I got it in 2010. So, so for the last 11 years, my trip, my C10 has been the same way. So over all these years, going to car shows, going to you know uh, 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 truck meets and stuff like that, you know, I've, I've, uh, you know, been taking notes. I seen seen stuff that I liked. You know what I mean? And just kind of sitting back in the cut and just you know soaking it all up. And uh, and so you know all those years of of doing that, taking notes and whatnot, observing. You know, I, I came up with what I think is going to be a killer design. Um, it's definitely going to be one that's, like I said, it's going to turn a lot of heads and um, make a lot of noise. So um, I know you guys are like probably thinking like, man, shut up talking about it if you're not going to show us. You know, I, but I promise I will show you, man. And, and, I, and I, can, I can almost say, I'm not going to say I guarantee you, but I'm pretty confident that when you see it, you're going to like it. So, uh, so definitely stay tuned to the channel for when I drop the ZL1 C10. It is going to be a game changer um so anyways guys um um oh and by the way shout out shout out to my boy uh uh buddy's digital digital designs buddy's digital designs that's my my rent my renderer uh he's my guy man he's my go-to he did the rendering for my uh money carlo my z01 money carlo he's done many other renderings for me in the past um he's a really good renderer oh, and, and you can find him on facebook I think his Facebook is, is Buddy's Digital Designs. It, Buddy is good, and he also is very reasonable, too. I've, I've talked to some, some renderers uh, about getting renderings done on other cars, and, I mean, their prices were just ridiculous. And Buddy is so much more reasonable, and his prices are fair. So I uh, definitely recommend doing business with Buddy if you, want, if you need a rendering of your car. He's, he's, he's very inexpensive, and he's very good. Uh, got, got my little side-by-side -side pulled out. I don't, I don't really talk about this thing much, but... Uh, it's a lot of fun, man. I, I know for those of you out there who have one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're a lot of fun, man. It's a, a big big stress reliever. This this particular model here, this is a 1,000cc engine. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's called a Razor 1000. It's made by a company called Polaris, which is the same company that makes the, the slingshots. Uh, and it, uh, it's a lot of fun. This is, a, this is a, I think, a 2015 model. I've had it for about three years, uh, and it's like I said, a lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. Anytime I just having a bad day and I just want to just get out and relieve some stress, I hop on this bad boy, take it out in the mud, go, you know, ride uh, on some property not too far from my neighborhood, and it uh, it usually does the trick. Um, believe it or not, I I didn't I I did not customize this uh, this thing. It came just like this from the factory in black and red. You look at the seats. The seats are are black and red. They got the Razor logo in them. It's got a little little dome light. Oh, there's my uh, tire air, air pressure gauge. Yeah, it's got it's got red red and black seats. Uh, I actually really like this design on these seats. I wouldn't mind having something similar to this in, in a car. Uh, these seats are kind of cool. They're, they're real sporty, and it's all it's all color coded, color uh, color matched, color color coordinated with the, the red and black accents everywhere. Dope little ride. I plan on doing some upgrades to it probably probably in, in 2022. I don't know. Maybe once I get, get past some of these other projects, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a lift kit on it, and I'm gonna put some bigger bigger wheels and tires, which I already have sitting up there on the shelf you can see on those tractor looking tires i already got the tires and rent in the rims already i just gotta modify my side by side to be able to fit them because you gotta you gotta lift it and then you gotta do some other stuff 
with the transmission. You got to do some uh, special clutch in the, in the transmission so they can, you can turn those big tires and wheels. And so anyways, it's work, right? Then I got to get this thing snorkel too so I can take it in water and won't have to worry about messing up the engine. Yep. I'm going to probably go to 3P off-road for that. 3P off-road, they, they, they do some really, really good uh, ATV work. So if you got a side-by-side -side or three-wheeler or four-wheeler or whatever, and you want some custom work done, they do they do really good custom work up there. Um, and uh, definitely would recommend them. Slim Thug has done business with them and a number of other people that are kind of well-known and in the public eye. So they come highly recommended. Uh, I got to go to Wills for the Monte Carlo. That blue, that blue that you see, that's that's tape that we put on the edges of the wheels just to keep them from getting scuffed up or scratched or whatever. So just more of a safety precaution. But those are my rear wheels for the Monte Carlo, 22 inch uh, Forgiato and Dottas, black and red. I might try to test fit the rear wheels while I'm over here, just to see just to see what they look like on the car because i haven't seen them on the car with you know with the car painted and everything so i'm kind of i'm kind of interested to see what they might look like on the car uh now that it's all painted but yeah see this this is all this crap that i took out of, of the storage here all this stuff all these are parts that came off of uh that yukon denali that i bought basically it's basically parts that i plan on selling so so here's the other storage, guys. This is the uh, the overflow storage. Uh, so as you can see, it's it's got a lot more room in it than the, uh, the other storage. What I plan on doing eventually, at some point, uh, I, I've I've got a frame, a G body frame that I'm gonna be buying uh, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be storing here for a little while because I'm gonna I'm gonna be stripping that G body frame down to, down to the bare metal and uh, taking it and having it sandblasted, and then I'm gonna have it powder coated for. Uh, uh, Project T-Top slash ZL1 Monte Carlo. So uh, it's kind of late, you know what I mean? I'm I'm going to wrap up here in a little bit because I don't like to be at the storage by myself too late, uh, you know, for obvious reasons for safety and whatnot. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys are, are being safe. I hope everyone's well. And uh, darn it, I just hear rain. So let me let me run, guys, because it's raining. So I need to go ahead and finish putting this stuff in this other storage before the rain gets too bad. So I'll see you later, guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the, the subscribe button. Uh, also hit the like button, comment on the video, tell me what you think about the content, what I just talked about, the ZL1, C10, and, uh, and also, uh, you know, share the video and tell a friend, okay? Thanks.